we are back here with antler woman but first we gotta go show off the antlers to Edna she's not gonna be happy you about might want to take a look at this why in the world would I be interested in oh what have we here oh sir mr. McFly it appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress Trixie Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't Ooh. hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... the winsome wench of Winnipeg. <laughs> Her past doesn't matter to... <laughs> He's jealous. Trixie? He's what jealous is it, of the Audie? Moose. You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You are firing me? I don't want oh. to. Here, take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Poor Trixie. Let's talk. Ah, let's get down to business, woman. <laughs> get Trixie everything she needs to make Edna jealous. Let's talk, woman. Talk. No, 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 not to the guy. I'm sorry I had to do it. Trixie? But... I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up... we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Paula Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. What fur? Go to Emmett's lab. Hi, Trix. Oops. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to watch, but it wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamond? And Not your yet. friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. I'm more interested in what the hell you're gonna slap her. What the hell? Right, get to Emmett's lab. Um, it's a long time, a uh, long way. We'll need some transportation. We should probably go see Doc then, or Cubal. But I think Doc is probably better, since he knows where the Emmett's lab is. Even though, hmm, let's just talk to Doc. Ah, good. You're back. Give me the full report. She says she likes you because you've got a virtuous mind, you look good in a suit, and you're completely faithful to her. Damn. She's got me dead to rights. Well, you'll just have to find a way to change her mind. I'll be here if you need any help. Do you need any help? Have you figured out what's wrong with the time circuits? Not sure. Possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double-checking to make sure. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Um, any chance I could borrow the DeLorean? I want to drop in on young you at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits... Listen, I promise, I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. Tell you what, I'll take it on a test drive one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. It worked! Didn't it? I'm afraid not. In fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. Oh, too bad. 
I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? A diagnostic device. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. Hmm. So, cue ball it is. Alright, another set of wheels. Go to Mr. Greenmouth. I was thinking, like, what else could be green? Frogs are green, but generally when they are cooked or fried or whatever, they're not green anymore. Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. You still cheesed off at Trixie? Yeah, but I'm more cheesed off at whoever got her fired. Oh. No, that wasn't me. They had the trouble, cue ball. That's what I'm trying to do. Can we just take the truck? No keys. I'll have to find my wheels somewhere else. Meals on wheels. This thing just opened up, but what the hell is this? Diorama? Press button to experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. Seems like a railway or mon monorail. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Corleone. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I better go see what's keeping him. Um, I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the eleventh hour. But tut -tut, not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I don't recognize you. Heavens, you shaved off your hair. But Carl Sagan. I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see, I know what you're up to. Oh, of course, Let's he knows everything about her. we can her. talk privately. Oh my god, Doc, he's still got the moves. Go on. Um, I'll keep her occupied till you get back. On his wife, but then 60 years younger. That's like a dream situation when you're that age. All right. Um, inventory, skateboard. Let's use it on the street. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. <laughs> Emmett? The f Kid Tannen? Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps, ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself at home. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! Convince Edna that Emmett isn't a citizen model. Model, citizen, citizen model, whatever. Um, alright, this is his lab, record player. I don't care about Trixie Trotter. Edna doesn't approve of that sort of music, but I find it very soothing. Oh. Oh.
Oh, the pencil sharpener. How does the mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey, the test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh huh. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative <laughs> responses, as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that? Ooh. As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe as I place your mind map into the MAM. Layabout? Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. Horse. Just look at the machine. Degenerate criminal, hooligan, inveterate liar, layabout, decent chap, honest Joe, model citizen. Model citizen. Mind map printer. Stack of mind What's maps. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? Not really. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. So why not just go with the cards? And it says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. Who's surprised? A valve? Let's just turn it. Phew. Ugh. Did the clamp fall off again? Um, yeah. Put it back on! Oh, I don't even know why I keep that bacteria tank around. Every time the clamp falls off the nitrogen tube, it takes a couple of minutes before I can get the stench out of the air. Whew. Oh, I get it. We need to get some sort of... Now he's bad? How will we do this? I kind of know what we... oil can. What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. I'll dispose of it. Convince Edna that Emmett is a slop. Two pots. Hey, Emmett, what's cooking? That's an old brown family recipe for Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer? Rabbit stew. The trick is to add the cumin an hour after the carrots. Take a whiff. Mm, isn't that just about the best thing you've ever smelled in your life? It's, um, powerful, yeah. I've got it on a slow boil for later. He likes that, but he he's very smelly right now, right? Easel. Scientist at Cod Kid It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist at Cod Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. Really? Really. Well, that's a relief. You have no idea how long it took to find one in my mother's photo album that Edna approved of. Where would these photo albums be? I think you kind of look terrible now. What are you looking at? Your picture. Why? Is something wrong? Uh, you look a little... constipated. <laughs> what? Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Let me. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Get some pictures of Emmett as a baby for Trixie's performance. Hey, Emmett. 
I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Alright, got the photo album. Um, what else do we need? This is a generator. What is it hooked up to? Nothing in particular. Uh, what's on the... Only the mental alignment meter, the, the printer. Let's check the mind map. Emmett's mind map. If I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I better replace it with another one. Kit Tannen. The mind of a degenerate criminal. That's Kit Tannen's mind map, as captured by our mind map helmet. You could tell he's a criminal just by looking at this? No, but when it's fed into the mental alignment meter... <laughs> Weird. Weird nothing. It's science. Science. Um. Mind if I... Go ahead. Hooligan. Ah, that'd be Mr. Needleman's card. I'll just put this in the stack with the other hooligans. Looks like you got a lot of hooligans. Yeah, about 90% of Hill Valley thus far. It's a little disturbing. God, that's how she kind of thinks that everyone, Edna thinks that everyone should be model citizens because everybody or everyone's on it. 90% there's apparently hooligans and she wants to improve that, make it kind of her ideal city. Oh my God, she's crazy. All right, we have to, can we take it? Shannon's mind map. If Emmett's map looked like this, I bet Edna wouldn't think he's such a model citizen. What do we don't have someone else's, right? No, we only have. We can't take. If I'm gonna Emmett's... take Emmett's mind map. I better replace it with another one. Generator. I'd be careful of that if I were you. Why? The rocket fuel experiment must have stripped one of the teeth in the hand crank. As a consequence, if you turn it for more than 10 seconds, it no! sends out an electric shock. That's another red one. Okay, so... My printer. Exit? No, no, no. Let's see. Mental alignment meter. This thing reads Emmett's oh. mind maps. What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards. Like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together. Once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems then. What? Sorry, I've got to get back to work. I kind of ha get what we have to do. Sort of. When we we turned the valve, the red button flashed. When we were mm, turning the crank, the red button flashed. But when we... That's obviously a bad sign. So we kind of need to create a new... Uh, new... What's it called? Stack of mind maps of Emmett looking or, or with it being him being kind of one of the lower ones not at least not a model citizen so yeah that's how goes the bacteria farm not so hot the bacteria have kind of gotten out of control I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab well but we're gonna do that in the next video we, we kind of have to make him a slob so yeah, we'll do that in the next video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Peace.